In today's video, we are going to be restoring my parents' patio. We have been living here for the last two weeks while we're waiting on our house to be completed. And I make cleaning videos. They had a very messy patio that my kids also contributed to. Their house also just got hit by a massive storm, which I'll show you all the damage it did. So cleaning it up a bit was the least we could do. Not to mention it is a beautiful day. We are in the midst of summer and I hope everyone is enjoying their summer so far. And if you need some motivation to clean up outside, then you've clicked on the right video. So I just mentioned that my parents' house was hit by a storm and the tree behind this outdoor patio actually landed on top of this outdoor patio. So this is where we're working with now and y'all, it actually looks a hundred times better than what it did before. So let me back up and show you a few quick pictures. I don't have videos, but I do have pictures. Here is what their patio and the outdoor kitchen kind of in that corner over there looked like before. And here is what it looked like after. I'll take you through a little slideshow of all of the damage that it did. And it was not a tornado, it was just like 80 mile an hour winds that started knocking down trees. It knocked down all of the power lines into the pool and they were out of power for six days. Chris owns a landscaping company, so him and his crew were there to help start cutting down the trees, getting it cleared out. The pool was pretty bad. As you can see here, so it has definitely been a huge cleanup process for them. Luckily, no one was injured, but as you can see, there has been a lot of progress that has already been made. And this happened just a few days before we, my whole family and I moved in. So jumping back over to where we're getting started, obviously there is still stuff that needs to be addressed and replaced and fix there's still I don't think these are power lines I think they're um, internet cords and stuff like that that is still kind of hanging over the edge there but but unfortunately basically the whole kitchen is going to have to be redone and replaced the tree also fell on the roof line and created some holes in the roof so there's a big tarp up there that is going to protect it from the rain. But getting started on today's video, this is where we're at today. The pool looks a lot better. And I also have a cool little tool that I'm gonna show y'all that's gonna help me clean the pool today. I won't be cleaning up this outdoor kitchen area. I'm gonna wait for professionals to come out and do that. But what I am gonna be cleaning up is this whole patio area. And we're gonna be taking everything out. We're gonna be power washing. I'm gonna be getting rid of some of the kids' toys. Now these are toys for all of their grandkids and they've been playing and enjoying the summer so far. So now that you know the whole backstory, let's go ahead and get started. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, gonna let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't wanna be stuck in more in conversations with you. With you, I'm gonna. Now. I'm on my way now. 
So we've got all of the toys picked up and cleaned out of the pool, but the pool is still pretty dirty. But dirt, leaves, sand, and pine needles are a big pain point for my parents' pool, and it constantly needs cleaning. There are a lot of areas in the pool that collect a lot of dirt, and the kids hate playing with the long, tangly cord pool cleaners. This is why I'm excited to announce the BeatBot AquaSense is going to be a perfect solution because it is the world's best intelligent cordless pool cleaning robot. It is also the top selling brand of high end robotic pool cleaners. After it's fully charged, you let it sit for about five seconds to let it calibrate. And then all you have to do is drop it in the pool and then watch it do its magic. It's cutting edge path optimization system powered by 15 ambient sensors and a 450 times smarter quad core 1.8 gigahertz processor. It has unrivaled efficiency and coverage with industry leading S and N shaped path cleaning capabilities. So it will clean the bottom of the floors in an S shape and then up the walls and even to the water line in an N shape. It has enhanced cleaning performance and longevity with an advanced brushless pump so it can clean your entire pool in just one session. With continuous cordless cleaning of up to 2,260 square feet floor space for an impressive three and a half hours. It uses effortless maintenance with support for OTA, software updates, and a convenient app control. It has ultimate convenience offered by the cordless charging dock for plug-free operations. And one of the coolest features is that not only does it just clean the bottom of the floor in an S shape, but it also climbs the walls and cleans the water line. This is one of my favorite features. That way you're not dealing with a bunch of tangled cords, but you can also not have to look at that water line mark whenever the pool goes below a certain level and the BeatBot helps keep it nice and clean. Also, extreme safety and reliability is ensured by 15 plus certifications, including the ETL, the CEC, and the IP68. Another amazing feature is with the AquaSense app, you can connect your BeatBot and choose the mode of cleaning that you want to use. You can choose quick mode, standard mode, or customize your cleaning. And then once the BeatBot is completed cleaning, then it'll give you information such as the pool mapping and the cleaning that it performed. Another exclusive feature is that it has a smart return and waterline parking, and they provide a hook where you can easily get it out from the pool. The cleaning process is also super easy where you can just easily pull out the filter basket and you can see all of the debris that it picked up. And y'all, this is after just one cleaning cycle. I didn't even think there was that much dirt and leaves and all sorts of stuff in the pool. Also, the cleaning filters are great because it can pick up small stuff like sand and dirt and keep it into this filter and it doesn't get back into the pool. Be sure to check out the links and the special discount in my description box below to purchase the BeatBot pool cleaner. This truly is an amazing cleaner and you can see just how dirty the was before and how good of a job it did cleaning afterwards. And I also wanted to thank BeatBot for sponsoring today's video.
so I hope that everyone has been enjoying their summer so far. If you are going on any cool vacations or trips or just doing something different this summer, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're going and what you're doing. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle. I make lots of cleaning videos, organizing, some DIY projects, and some decorating, basically anything for your home. Now, most people assume that if you have a YouTube channel for cleaning, then you like cleaning, but that is not 100% the case for me. I just have a kind of a chaotic life. I have three kids, six and under, and it's just kind of nonstop. Come to find out that in this season of life, it's actually not uncommon to have things a little chaotic. Whether you're trying to raise your kids, trying to work, trying to eat healthy, live healthy, have fun, do all of the things, it can just be hard to keep up with everything. So I knew when starting this channel, it was going to be more about making progress than it would be about having everything perfect. I think that if you're here for that, then you're definitely in the right spot. And I would love for you to subscribe and join this awesome community. Just one glass in, you're already on my mind. When it gets late, I always realize that I need you. Are you thinking about me too tonight? feelings are you thinking about me too tonight mm -hmm. your hands around my waist just let the music play like a drug i am hooked on you sweeter than summer wine baby just hold me tight like a drug i am hooked on you So the grass in their backyard is all turf and when cleaning it up it's definitely new to us because we always have you know the real grass and now Chris always cuts it like um, like it's golf course grass like really pretty like almost looks like turf but when you're cleaning it's like usually we would just blow everything into the grass and here you actually have to clean the grass. So that was something different for us. Now, if you have turf in your yard, then let me know. Do you clean it? Do you blow it in a pile and pick it up? That's what we ended up doing because I really don't know if there is an easier way. Now, the kids have been loving the pool. They have been in the pool every single day. Um, they've been going to some summer camps and they will, whenever we pick them up, they would just come straight to the pool. They have been great swimming on their own. Savannah's four, Sailor is six for those of you that are new. And um, as most of y'all know, we are moving. So our next video, I promise, is going to be the new house tour. I wasn't actually planning on filming at all while we were out of our other house, but I figured that we would kind of show what happened here and then clean up the patio for them as the least we could do. So whenever we get in our new house, we don't have immediate plans of putting a pool in. In our old house, in about uh, 2019, 
2019 or 2020 ish, we got a quote for a pool. And now if we were to get the same quote, I think the prices have basically tripled. So it's hard to justify that. And also I want my kids to be excellent swimmers. Um, we just need one more little guy, <laughs> Rye, to learn some good swimming skills. And then we'll kind of go back and see what what kind of quotes we can get. So I think maybe in a couple of years, we'll think about putting a pool in our new backyard. I have to admit that I would absolutely love having a pool, but I don't know how much more cleaning and upkeep it is. So for those of you who do have pools, um, leave me a comment, let me know, is it worth it or is it just a lot of cleaning and upkeep? So also in our new neighborhood, there are alligators in the front, like in some of the ponds throughout the neighborhood and the neighbor that we're moving into, they have a massive, beautiful pool next door. And whenever we were about to close on the house, they told us that there were, there was an alligator that got back into their yard. I don't know if it got in their pool or not. So that's kind of crazy. We're not in Florida. I know that's probably a little more common in Florida, but if you have any crazy stories, I love hearing them. So leave them down below about any kind of weird animal or thing that you found in your pool. To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now won't you meet high? So I just organized some of the outdoor pool toys. My mom was a teacher for several years. So we have a lot of, they have a lot of toys here and then all the outside toys for all of the grandkids. And we popped up these little beach chairs here. I had just got these at Sam's and I don't know how to close them. <laughs> Clearly I'm having some trouble. But these little foldable beach chairs are actually really good for the beach. If you saw over on my Instagram, Michelle O'Malley 711, we just got back from Mexico. We went as a family to Cancun for about a week and we had a great time. We went to the Moon Palace in Cancun, which is an all-inclusive resort and it is a family-friendly, kid-friendly resort. So we had a good time. We ate at a lot of good restaurants. However, traveling with a one-year-old is, uh, let's just say, a bit stressful. I am a nervous flyer to begin with, so adding a screaming baby on top of that just makes it a little bit more stressful. Every time I'm on the trip, and because um, I've traveled a lot with our kids very young, uh, we just take them and do whatever, you know, with us. And I always like remember while I'm on the trip, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never doing this again. And then whenever I get home, I somehow forget everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so fun. I need to book another trip. I'm one of those people. But anyway, traveling with young kids, I mean, you just have to be really patient. 
but we did have a great time in Mexico. We actually went over to, it's called like the cenotes. I think it's close to Tulum, Tulum. And we did some zip lining through the cenotes. We did not go, I think there's like these underwater caves that you can do if you ever go check it out. Uh, we ended up not doing the underwater caves, even though it was part of our excursion, because I mean, it's hard to take a one-year-old in the underwater caves and the water underneath there was like pretty cold. I mean, very cold for me. So we did that. And then we just went to like, it's called a beach inlet and we did some snorkeling there. And that was a lot of fun. I do recommend that if you haven't done that before. The beach at the moon palace was not crystal blue so that was one of the kind of downfalls about going to the moon palace and i talked to a few other people there who are like members or they they're i forgot what it's called Mem i guess they're members and they go there all the time and they were like yeah here you you know you got to go more northern cancun to get the really crystal blue beaches so um, although the beaches were nice they just weren't like crystal clear and, um, so we ended up not getting to see crystal clear beaches, but aside from that, everything was great. Now I need some other kid friendly crystal blue beach vacation ideas. Leave them in the comments below. And we are going to start pressure washing this patio. Next, we, or meaning Chris, is going to power wash some of the patio furniture. When I volunteered to do this project, I was like thinking, they don't have that big of a patio, so it shouldn't be that difficult. And then in the middle of this, I'm like, this is a lot of work and I am sweating. I think I had already jumped in the pool like three times by now. But the heat here in Texas is no joke for sure. 
when we get into our new house, I'm so excited to show y'all. I don't, as I'm doing this voiceover, I don't live there yet. We're closing tomorrow, but whenever I post this video, we are going to be moved in already. And I'm super excited to show you the patio. It's already on my Instagram, Michelle O'Malley 711, but um, I ordered a table for it. It won't be until August. So now I'm trying to match the chairs. I've been furniture shopping like crazy because like what happens is when you get in a new house, or at least for me, I just want all new stuff. And I know I have to like slow down a bit, but I am super excited to decorate everything and I'm super excited to take y'all along with me. I did ask y'all what y'all wanted to see and several people just said, you know, share everything. So I will do some unpacking. I'll try and get, I think I'm going to try and get the kitchen kind of unpacked and organized first. Also some closets. Um, we're going to immediately epoxy the garage or, you know, get that poly youth, I don't know what it's called, polyutherin or epoxy or something on the garage and then try to just get unpacked and organized, you know, as soon as possible. So I'll take y'all along that process as well. Stuck in the middle I'm coming inside I'm walking out Just stay for a little You say is it close the door behind me Look in the mirror Hearing you whisper in my ear Say are you a sinner Or a beginner
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you're not subscribed, I would absolutely love you to join this community and subscribe this way. Whenever you pull up your subscriptions, you can see all of my videos. Also, if you turn on that bell notification, you will get notified whenever I post a brand new video, which you will want to see the next video, which is our new house tour. But I hope that y'all have a wonderful week.